r slash am I wrong? Medical Beach 2817 says. I lied about not being a virgin to the girl I'm seeing. I 23 male, am a, frick, I'm virgin. I know it's pathetic. No one knows except for my two closest friends. Unfortunately my coworkers know my Reddit account, because I use it for work so this is a throwaway. It's a long story, but I'm better dating material now than I was 2-2-3 years ago. A little late though I've been talking to a few girls, mostly those I met on Hinge. This girl in particular 24 female. She's a first year med student. I've been seeing her more than others, and thinking of shifting more of my focus on her. Silly fun fact, we were both born on Valentine's Day just a year apart. We've gone on two dates before last night, and she wants to take things slow before sex. I'm okay with that, because although in theory I'd like to do ones with girls, my brain isn't ready to go from meeting someone to doing the deed without getting to know them first. Last night we had our third date, and it was at her place, and I got to meet a couple of her roommates. I know it sounds like a weird date idea, but she wanted to cook chicken palm with her. While the chicken was cooking, we were in the living room just talking about random shit. One of her roommates talked about how she liked this one. Guy but was turned off by the fact that he never had a girlfriend before. All of them agreed that was a little weird of a guy in his 20s. Although my date just simply nodded in agreement and didn't say much. Well him and I have one thing in common. Towards the end of the night she was leaning on me and rubbing my thigh. I know what that means. In my own fantasy world I would have pounced on the opportunity, but the conversations from earlier TN freaked me out. She would know I'm a virgin. So I just said I'm really tired and wanted to go home. She had a bit of a disappointed look on her cute little face, but walked me to the entrance. She gave me a long kiss, which I'm somewhat experienced with, but still not nearly as good as a guy my age should be, and I think the past two days of this caught up to her. She asked very quietly while smiling, are you a virgin? Call me the weakened cause I could not feel my face at that moment of time. Out of pure fright I said no I'm just tired and she laughed. She's gonna find out eventually. And I really like her. But she will know I lied about this, and I don't know what the frick to do. 123 Jade 3 says. Be honest, if she wants to be with you she'll accept you, if not move on to the next. Bubbly Granala Chick says. Also it's very creepy of women, to talk about that not just men. If you guys, are going to mess around, that is the least you could do, is tell them, if you have been with someone else before. People who act like certain things matter like experience matters are weird, if you are comfortable it works, if you aren't, it doesn't and, if you are with someone who isn't patient with you, run. Ungratiful Dead says. The problem right off is you somehow have been socialized to think it's pathetic to be a virgin at your age and maybe even some of your hang ups and views on sex. It you realize it's not as big a deal as you think, and every man and woman who's lived, will live over the hundreds of thousands of years are a result of sex, and that sex isn't the most special thing in a relationship. It's a few minutes or hours a week of mutual interaction. And there much more stuff people do together. Yarrow27 says. Being a virgin at your age is not pathetic. Actually, it is very sweet. Just gather your courage, and while looking her eyes, tell her the full truth. It may sound hard to you, but it is only hard in your imagination. Trust me, after telling her, you would not believe that it was so easy. It is nothing compared to your imagination. Her reaction will be much nicer and positive than you think. And your self-respect will boost. Just be honest, and also try to explain her why you lied in the beginning full truth. Then you will learn that being honest is much more easier, and actually it is freedom. Bean Thing says. Fire her a message saying the other night you were right, I'm a virgin, I got embarrassed when you asked sorry. You'll be apologizing for the lie, but not being a virgin, because there's nothing to apologize for when it comes to that. 
If she's cool with it then great, if not then at least you can crack on with things. Care too much 7589 says. Guy, being a virgin is not pathetic. WTF. Figzibbon says. Be honest. Make a joke about please, be gentle with me. Sex should be fun. Jason Tharanga says. She connected the dots dude. She asked because she was worried about the potential that she upset you, not anything going on with you. Scormy says. Nothing wrong with being inexperienced. Virgin is a social construct meant to control the youth, especially young women. I chased after all the wrong women when I was young and regret every single one of those experiences. The last thing you should worry about is your virginity. Also, no partner who actually cares about you would be put off by your lack of experience. No bite 5874 says. My ex-husband lied about being a virgin. The fact he was a virgin wasn't the issue, the fact he lied was. Rialden Brown says. You're 23, not 53. Lol seriously, I think it's kinda sweet and wholesome. Definitely not something you should be ashamed of. Zictorex says. It's going to come out, you might want to just let her know you are, and that you got scared when she asked. Eventually, if you really like her, she's going to get you in bed. If you fire off in 10 seconds, because it's your first time, and tell her you're not a virgin she's going to think you're a premature ejaculator. If it's a deal breaker for her then you're just going to have to accept it and move on. Mammoth Virus 261 says. I said it on another post and I'll say it again, you don't have an obligation to tell people you're a virgin. I lost my virginity at 24. I didn't tell the guy I was with and it didn't make a damn bit of difference to either one of us. Everyone was a virgin at some point and everyone loses it at different times in their life. I don't get what the big deal is. If you feel bad for lying just tell her you were embarrassed, didn't enjoy being put on the spot, and it's your personal business. List Plenty 6014 says. It's fine. Just initiate and do the deed, and get over your mental block of being a virgin. If she asks again just be honest. If it doesn't work out then just find another horny person on Tinder and ons your way out of this insecurity. Pseudonym says. Being a virgin at your age isn't as rare as many people think. It's not pathetic. Some people are later bloomers, some people are shy and don't get the opportunity early. Don't hate on yourself. She won't necessarily mind if you are, even if she acted that way with her roommates she might also just be going along with it for her own reasons, wanting to seem normal, cool, whatever. You have to decide if you want to be with someone that you can't be honest with, or if you can just be honest and trust that she likes you anyways. Also, she won't necessarily know you're a virgin. Honestly having experience doesn't always make someone better in bed if they're experienced but selfish. An inexperienced person who has done some research on how to please a woman and is willing to be communicative that is. Is this good? How do you want me to touch you? Etc. Will be better than someone who technically has done it before, but didn't really try. Just take your time, don't rush things. R slash am I wrong? Maximum Yogurt 2073 says. A were for not accepting my best friend's birthday present? I 20 male. Have been friends with Jessica, 20, ever since we were 13. Last month, I finally told her that I've been in love with her for years. She let me down gently and told me she just started dating someone else. I was heartbroken, but stayed friends with her. Yesterday was my birthday. She gave me a bottle of Hugo Boss cologne. I was quite surprised to see what she got me as a gift and asked her why she spent so much money this year. Usually she buys me a paperback book and I buy her chocolates. Nothing pricey like this. 
Jessica told me she feels bad about breaking my heart and thought she could make it up to me by getting something extra nice this year. I told her I don't feel comfortable accepting an expensive present, that I don't want her money. To be involved in what we have, her parents loaded, and that I don't need expensive gifts to get over her. She looked hurt. My mom also chided me, saying I should have just accepted the gift, since it's a nice gesture on her part and Jessica could afford the gift. Update, I sent her a text. This is just a translation of it, I'm sorry I refuse to accept your present. I appreciate the thought, but I just don't feel comfortable accepting that from you, when it costs so much more than anything else I've ever gotten for my birthdays. Second update, she replied that she sometimes forgets how much richer she is than me, and asked me to just accept it to make her feel better. So I thanked her, and told her I'll accept the cologne. Jipacha says. Nah. She went further with her gift, because she felt bad for you, and you rejected the gift, because you didn't want her pity. You didn't flip out at her, you didn't have a meltdown, you calmly explained your view. I don't think there's any wrong in this. Lanky Ground 309 says. Itta. She cared for your feelings, so she went a little extra. A bottle of perfume is better than chocolates anyways you should have been more polite and more considerate. Few Client 9780 says. NTA for not wanting to take the gift, but you aren't her friend. You were just waiting for a chance to pounce on her. Unfortunately she does think you're her friend, and is trying to buy a chance at things, being normal after she shot you down. Cat Jiggler says. Seems like needless drama to reject it. DV Moonbeam says. It's a bottle of cologne not a Lamborghini. OK Usual 5166 says. Gosh would just take it. Maybe it works out in the future. This sort of thing won't endear her to you. Being gracious, having gratitude, and being patient, and keeping it together will. What's the word unaffected? And go look for someone else. If you've loved someone for years should have probably told her in the past. And her just dating someone for now, just respect that and chill. Lesson learned for the future Imo. I'm assuming you both are young with lots of time in front of you. Potita Monster 20 says. You're not wrong. You're free to accept slash not accept gifts as you like, and this particular gift had some issues. Inappropriate gift value for someone who isn't dating you, and also gives off vibes of here's the booby prize. But I think you need to take a long break from this person. You've been friends for a long time now. But it wasn't a healthy friendship, not if you always had ulterior motives for being around her, were always looking at her as a prospective romantic partner instead. Take some time to yourself. Maybe move away for a few years. Live. Grow. Find new friends. Find a romantic partner who wants to be with you. Maybe one day you'll reconnect and actually feel able to just be friends with her. Maybe you won't, but we'll have a great life anyway. Either outcome is better than hanging around someone begging for table scraps of affection. I don't recommend that as a lifestyle. But hurt it's for life says. Info, why are you continuing this friendship? Handel Hayden says. Softesh. The spat about the gift is really about her rejection of you and your hurt feelings. But given the ages involved, I think both of you are learning the life lesson, that you cannot be platonic friends when one friend wants a romance. I'm guessing op, that you are holding on to hope, that she will change her mind which means you aren't being a friend to her. I think she lashed out a load of money on this gift, because she felt guilty for rejecting you, but it would have been far crueler of her to lie to you, or lead you on in some fashion. Both of you might need to take some time apart to figure out whether you can salvage a platonic friendship out of this mess before resentment pulls a plug on it for you. Some friendships do recover and some don't, in my 50 y slash opinion, the ones that don't likely did not have a strong foundation in the first place. United Plum 1671 says. Itta.
That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.